Assalamu alaikum. We'll start a new chapter today, Introduction to Victors. This is lesson 8.1. And we took in lesson 5.4, how to use trigonometry to solve the triangles. We need this lesson again in this lesson. I want you to go back a little bit and try to study it before we start. Now, the objective today is to identify vectors quantities. This is what we will take, inshallah, in this session. These are the new vocabularies for this lesson. We will not take them, of course, at the same time. We will start today with vectors, initial points, terminal uh, point, standard position maybe tomorrow or today, uh, direction, and magnitude. These are the most important vocabulary we will take today. Uh, I bring here for you some real life situation why we need this in our real life as you can see from the pictures. During the lesson we will take each one alone and to take, solve the problem using these situations. The first one of course when you push anything, the second one this player and the plane here which is the most important thing. Any objective slides also needs the vectors. The definition of a vector, it's a quantity that has magnitude and direction. And that's the importance of a vector. It has a magnitude and direction. Uh, and it's uh, commonly represented by the directed line segment whose length represents the magnitude. So the definition of magnitude is the length of this vector. And the orientation is the direction. Let's see, this is our vector. That's how we represent the vector, like this arrow. The first point here, the initial point, and some box said it's tail. The terminal point here is the head of the vector. The length, we call it magnitude. The direction is it goes up, down, left, right, west, north, these terms will help you to find the direction. Okay, let's see the difference between a scalar quantity and vector. And we will start with a scalar, like a distance. The definition of the distance is the length of the actual path taking through the objects. I want you to look carefully. If we put your hand here on A, go through the line, this we call it distance. We can find the length of this distance, but no direction. Now, the scalar quantity contains magnitude, which is the length. Again, without direction, we can have a, a unit, like, for example, 20 meter, 40 mile per hour, 10 gallons. These are units. We will use them to find distance or any quantity, but without direction. Okay, the displacement now here, which a vector quantity. Let's see what's the difference between this displacement and distance. The displacement, we put our hand on the first point, go directly in a straight line to the last point. This is the tail, and this, this is the tail, and this is, again, this is the tail, and this is the tip, or this is initial point, and this is terminal point. We can notice that we have an angle here. This angle means we have a direction. So when you find, when you have any number like this, from this number you can see if it's vector or scalar. Since we have an angle, this means this is a vector. So when you find it, you will find like this. 12 meter, this is the magnitude, and this is the direction. Again here, this is the magnitude, this is the direction, N means north. Okay, so this how can you distinguish between vector and the scalar. So again, vector means direction and magnitude. So let's start, I will solve this one. I want you to try to solve the, the second question. State whether a hockey puck shot northwest at 60 miles per hour is a vector quantity or a scalar quantity. Let us look at the key words here. The first key word is north and 60 miles per hour. This is a magnitude and this is, yes, you are right. This is 
the direction. So automatically this is the vector. Can you try this one alone? State whether tennis ball served at 110 miles per hour is a vector. Do we have anything tells us that we have a direction? It's just 110 miles per hour. I don't have any direction. So it's a scalar. Again here, the keywords directly, we have 100 meters and we have north. This is the word which will tell us that this is a vector. Okay, so state whether a two truck pulling a car due east with a force of 100 newtons is a vector. Okay, what do you think? Why it's a vector? Yes, excellent, because we have the word east. Okay, now, uh, this is the last idea of this session today. How can I know that the vector in standard position? For example, I have this vector. I have this vector. A lot of times, with this vector. If you drag the vector and put the tail of the vector or the initial point like this on the origin, we call this standard position. The vector in standard position. We have here again another vector and the initial point on the origin, so this is the vector in a standard position. Of course, we will use this in the next session. Now, this is your homework for today. I want you, after watching this video, to solve it, and we will discuss this next time. So please focus carefully. The first one, you have to define scalar and vector quantity, which is a scalar, which is a vector, Look at the keywords, this will help you. And we have here to complete, I need one word here. Thank you, and that's it for today.